um, then we've got this really funny video here. <laughs> this is this is a um, Matt Hancock had a bit of a dust up with Piers Morgan on Good Morning Britain and it's flipping great, great, great TV or great entertainment. Let's play a bit of that. Really glad that we're able to send out food for those who receive preschool meals when schools are in. I'm really glad that we're able to do that okay. when schools if are you're out. That glad, if what you're if... that glad, can I just ask you a difficult question? Why did you vote against it? Well, I'm really glad we were able to put it into place. Yeah, but that... <laughs> That's a great way to answer, to answer the question, right? He's been asked us, you know, we have this issue going on at the moment with lockdowns and free school meals we had a very prominent football in marcus rashford from manchester united and english international who's been going back and forth with the government putting forward you know initiatives and trying to lead you know um the voice of the protest in terms of there being a far better way to get these free school meals out to these kids from disadvantaged families or backgrounds who basically need the free school meals during this time of lockdown and it's just been a constant drama throughout the entire time they haven't got a handle in at all at first they didn't want to do it then they begrudgingly did do it due to public outcry and shame and then now they're still fumbling the bags per se and basically Piers Morgan is holding Matt Hancock's feet to the fire and saying hey if you're so happy about the meals being able to be sent out to the families as they should be during the lockdown why were you why did you vote against the mills in the first place and of course you know as a great any great politician he thinks the best way to show strength and to show that he's a leader and he stands by what no to show strength or to not to sh not to show weakness actually not strength the best way to show not to not show weakness he thinks in his head is to not make mistakes which I think is completely incorrect I think the best way to show you're strong is to admit when you're weak is to admit when you made the mistake, right? So that people can see that you're fallible, but you're also willing to do the hard work to correct your mistakes so you won't do it again. But this constant skirting of the question is just annoying, but also great TV. I'm glad about being able to put it into place. Again, why did you, as health secretary, vote against this? <laughs> well, because um, the reason that I'm glad now <laughs> is because we've been able that was a good cock tease, isn't it? Because the reason I'm glad <laughs> instead of the reason I voted against it. And why couldn't you just say at the time, hey, I voted against it at the time because I felt as if the money being spent on school dinners wasn't necessary because we needed to develop a fact. I don't know, he could have lied, just said whatever, right? Or just said I, I didn't I don't I don't care about these fucking kids, isn't it? Whatever. But this whole skirt around the issue doesn't really paint you in the best light, does it? You got shamed. No, thanks in, to you. you got, just be honest. You got shamed into it by a football player, a young football player with a conscience, who managed to prick the conscience of you and the government. Do you regret now, given how glad you are that it's now happening? Do you regret voting against it? Well, of course, I'm pleased that we're, we're making sure that. <laughs> that wasn't the question. I just asked if you. I asked if you regret it. Yeah, but, no, but hang on. It's a very important question because you wouldn't have done it without Marcus Rashford campaigning. My question for you is. Given how it's quite embarrassing for Matt Hancock too. He's been completely, you know, Piers has been on his neck from minute zero because I think there was a long period of time. It might have been eight months or something, something long where the basically the government were refusing to go on Good Morning Britain, right? They didn't want to sit down or speak to him because, of course, you know, Piers was basically one of the main voices in the British press that was constantly attacking the government for how slow they were reacting, how cumbersome of a job they were doing. So they were basically excommunicated from their press talk or from their press briefings or whatever. And now it's obviously changed because things have gotten worse. They can't hide. And um, he's still getting hotted up. <laughs> his close lols. Glad you now are that it's happening. Do you regret voting against it? Is it a yes or no? Well, well, as I say, I'm really glad that it's happening. <laughs> but do you regret, <laughs> do you regret voting against it? Well, I... Uh... I'll put it this way. In the first lockdown, uh, we took this action. And now, as you say, we're in Her a second You only have to say yes lockdown. or no whether you regret it. You either regret it or you don't. Well, I, 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 I'm really glad that the situation has been resolved. You say so you, regret, you regret voting against it? I, I'm really glad it's been resolved. We've sorted it out. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm going to use my own words to describe Politicians are horrendous, aren't they, man? Horrible people, man. Horrible, horrible humans. It, it it does take a special kind of person to decide to even go into that as a vocation, isn't it? As a job. Like imagine you're at you're 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 young, you're in school, you're doing quite well for yourself, you come from an affluent background. To put yourself within the crosshairs of the public like that takes a special kind of human being, isn't it? 
I could never do something like that. I really couldn't, man. It's utter, utterly, utterly bizarre. But hey, what can one do? What can one do? <laughs>